you got this, God made you for this. I do not pump at all. I do not worry about it. Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Angela and I'm a mom of two beautiful babes and I'm here to share my home, heart, and faith with you guys. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing three ways that you can increase your breast milk overnight. I'm super excited to share these tips with you guys. If you stick with me all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a few things that I have learned that could be affecting you and decreasing your supply. So after I share those three ways to increase your breast milk overnight, you definitely want to check out some of those reasons why your breast milk could be decreasing. I had two different nursing experiences with my daughter. My supply was awful. I always felt like I never had enough. Whenever I pumped, nothing was coming out. I was constantly giving her bottles and pacifiers and all the other things. And then with my son, it was the complete opposite. He was exclusively breast fed for the first three months of his life and he refused to take pacifiers until he was four months old so anytime he needed the boob for comfort or to feed it was for me and that's when I realized that really does make a difference so if you are in that window of the first like two to four months that is the most crucial time you really 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 want to try to stop those interruptions as much as possible but a fed is best and i totally understand when you need a break because it is very exhausting trying to breastfeed your little ones so do not get down on yourself if you are giving them a bottle for whatever reason if you do give them a bottle just try your best to create that nursing session with pumping you just want to replace anytime you're interrupting especially those first few months early on in breastfeeding if you're later on and you're still trying to boost your supply these will also help you out as well okay so we're just gonna get right into all the things so like i said i'm going to share with you guys three different ways that you can increase your breast milk fast overnight and the first one is going to be making sure that you are eating and drinking enough food i know when you have a newborn and other little kids, things like that. Like it's very hard to take care of ourselves, but you wanna make sure you are nourishing your body with healthy snacks and you wanna make sure that you are drinking plenty of water. I read somewhere one time that you needed like 100 ounces of water in a day, but most of the other stuff that I read just said like you wanna make sure you're drinking to thirst. And that doesn't mean you can't have other things to drink throughout the day. If you're eating fruits and veggies, you would also get water from that. One thing I did wanna mention about having different drinks though is if you are drinking caffeine, you wanna make sure you have a little bit extra water because caffeine can naturally dehydrate you. So make sure you're getting plenty of water, plenty of healthy food, nuts, leafy greens are really good for you when you are breastfeeding. And I'm not saying that you have to like go on some specific diet or count your carbs or count your calories or anything like that i honestly have talked to a bunch of other women and i know that like when we're breastfeeding we're just always hungry so when you are snacking in between meals just try to keep those things on the healthier side i will not lie i am constantly indulging in chips and chocolate and things like that as well so if you agree with me about being a hungry mama when you're breastfeeding make sure you give this video a thumbs up but if you did not know breast milk is made of 80 percent water so you definitely want to make sure you have plenty of water throughout the day get yourself a nice big water bottle to drink out of and just be filling it up as often as possible all right the second tip that i have that is going to help you increase your breast milk overnight please do not click off do not hate me for this one i promise if you stick with me it's gonna make sense so you want to get rid of any interruptions like any stop with the bottles stop with the past fires it doesn't have to be forever i'm talking only like a day or two one thing i learned about breast milk is it works on supply and demand so as much as you are telling your body to produce it is going to produce so anytime you are allowing your baby to comfort elsewhere whether you're giving them a bottle because you just need a break from breastfeeding which is totally fine and acceptable fed is best do not overstress this. But if you really are working to keep that supply or you want to boost it or anything like that, you want to do what is called a nursing vacation. And if you do this, you want to try to get help because you are literally going to be living with that baby for a day or two. I would do these with my daughter and I would do it for two days and I would have whatever I needed right by me. Usually I would do it on a day that my husband was off work. So if you can do it that way or if you can call a friend or family member over to help you out, that would be great because 
anytime that baby cries, they want a pacifier for comfort. They're fussy and you can't get them to calm down any other way. Literally any single time your baby needs the boob, you're gonna give them the boob. That is a nursing vacation. Honestly, this will help so, so much. Because like I said, breast milk works off of supply and demand. So the more you're putting your baby on there, even if they're just comforting, they're still stimulating your body and telling your body that there's something there and it needs to make more. <laughs> I know these are not fun. I honestly don't know why it's called a nursing vacation but it works so, 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 so well. So that is the second tip that I have for increasing your breast milk overnight is doing a nursing vacation. I'm trying to make it exciting because it wasn't all that exciting for me. All right, and the third tip that I have to increase your breast milk fast overnight is going to be pumping. Yes, I said it. So one thing you wanna make sure you're doing when you are worried about your supply is making sure that your breasts are completely empty with every feed. So if you're nursing your baby to sleep or they stop eating for whatever reason and you think like there might be some left, honestly, after like every feed that you can, I don't stress pumping a whole ton. I don't want you to like stress over this a bunch but it's a really good thing that you can do after some feeds when you have a few like five to ten minutes they say to do it up to 20 minutes but I would do it for like five minutes or so and it helps so what you want to do is after your baby's done eating is just throw the pump on or do a quick manual pump for a few minutes and just stimulate it do not stress if nothing comes out like I mentioned earlier any stimulation you are giving, your body is going to realize that it needs to be producing more. So you're essentially kind of doing like a cluster feed sort of thing when you are pumping after you feed your baby. Like I said, you do not have to do this after every single feed, but the more times you do it throughout the day, the more it will help. And if you don't know what cluster feeding is, like I mentioned earlier, it is a thing that your baby is going to do when it's getting bigger and its stomach is taking in more food they're gonna feed on and off throughout the day and you're gonna be like dude I just fed you why are you still hungry they do these in like 10 to 15 minute increments that's why it's called the cluster feed because they're clustering them together babies know that they need to do this to increase your supply so if you create the same kind of cluster feed you can also help boost your supply because your body was created to do this, it knows what it needs. And as much as you are creating that stimulation, your body's going to produce that for you or for your baby. But one thing that I love to have on hand was a manual pump. I will have everything that I can link below for you guys. A manual pump works the best for me, but if you have any other kind, that totally works. Another thing you can do is call the power hour of pumping. So you're gonna pump for a whole hour in different increments you're going to start it off with a 20 minute pumping session and then you're going to take a 10 minute break and then you're going to pump for 10 minutes and then you take a 10 minute break and then you pump for 10 to 20 minutes and so on and so forth i will have a schedule below so you can kind of see what it's like but this is essentially like that cluster feed as well where it's just going to tell your body it needs to produce more and again don't stress if you're not getting anything out i know that is like the most depressing thing in the whole world when you sit here and pump forever and you're like I got half an ounce. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Your body is working its way to making more. Just make sure if you are doing extra pumping and stuff, you're taking in extra water just to help with that. So those are the three tips that I have that you can do to increase your breast milk overnight. If you liked these tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you do not miss any other breastfeeding type videos that I do. But like promised, if you stuck with me to the end of this video, I was going to give you ladies some reasons why your breast milk may be decreasing. And one of the biggest, biggest things that can cause your breast milk supply to drop is stress. Yes, stress. Like I said earlier, if you're pumping and you're not seeing anything, do not stress it. As hard as it is, do not stress it. Do not stress it. I promise you, pumps do not work as good as your baby. So you're gonna pump and you're gonna see nothing, but your baby's gonna eat and they'll be getting stuff. Pumps do a great job at pretending like they <laughs> know what they're doing, but your baby honestly does so much better. But you really wanna try not to stress over your supply. Your body was made to do this. And trust me, I know if you are a first time breastfeeding mama, you're gonna stress over things. 
and I just want you to remember it's gonna be okay you got this God made you for this everything is gonna be totally fine the next thing that I wanted to mention that could decrease your supply goes along with the first tip that I gave in this video and that is are you eating and drinking enough food one thing I did with all of my children was I had a whole station set up for breastfeeding I would do an entire video for you ladies about that. If you are interested in seeing that, leave me a comment below and let me know. I love to share all of the tips and tricks and things that I learn with you guys. Put snacks in there. Like I mentioned, nuts are a great snack. You can eat like little granola bars, have some extra water in there because sometimes you're gonna sit in that chair for a few hours so you want to make sure you have those things so you don't have a reason to get up or you're not stressing over eating i will have a link below to kellymom.com i used her website as a reference a ton with my first daughter and i learned a lot they have so much on there not just for breastfeeding so it's a really great reference for you mamas to check out the next thing that could be decreasing your supply is those interruptions like i talked about earlier in my third tip any interruption you are giving your baby from the boob is going to tell your body it doesn't need breast milk now those first couple months are super super crucial but after that your supplies there it's pretty well unless there's like some crazy thing that happens I don't think your supply is just gonna dip out of nowhere so when your baby starts to slow down on nursing or you start introducing solids and things like that that doesn't mean you have to go run to the pump all of the time I do not pump my son is almost nine months old and he still nurses about six times a day and he's nursing once or twice throughout the night. I do not pump at all. I do not worry about it. I have more than enough milk for him. But it's those first couple months where those interruptions can decrease your supply incredibly. So just make sure if you are interrupting with bottles, pacifiers, different things like that, or if you just feel like your baby just nursed and you're not totally empty, so you wanna throw the pump on for 10 to 20 minutes, go ahead and do that. With my second son, I tried to pump as much as possible throughout the day while he was nursing and it really did help a lot. I pumped not like every single time after he fed, but I probably did it about every three to four hours the first two to three months. And I had about 60 ounces of breast milk that I was able to put up in a supply. Pumping on top of nursing your baby is going to help boost that supply as well because like I mentioned a thousand times, it's all about supply and demand. The more you tell your body to make, the more it's going to make. Those are all of the tips and tricks and reasons that your breast milk may be decreasing. If you ladies loved all of the things that I shared in this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you do not miss another video of mine. When it comes out, I upload a new video every single week and I love to just share my real life with you ladies, all the tips and tricks that I have learned along the way and take you on a ride with me in my unfocused life. That is all that I have for this video. I will see you all in my next one. I love you so much. Bye. Thank you for watching.